So Canada is home to more than 750 lighthouses. The province of Quebec is home to more than 40 of those. And in today's video, we're gonna look at five of those. So in case you didn't know, July 13th is known as Quebec Lighthouse Day. And this is where the lighthouses along the St. Lawrence River will celebrate by hosting special events and activities and things that day, just to celebrate lighthouses. So if you're ever in that region on that date, just definitely go check it out. It might be something cool to see. So before we jump into the video, there's just two quick little disclaimers here for you. Number one, um, I was dealing with COVID for about two weeks. So I took a little time off from the channel, obviously to deal with that and to get better. Um, I am okay now, but I just have a bit of a lingering cough still. So if I ever sound kind of funny through the video, that is, that's why. And number two, I don't speak French that well. So I may not be pronouncing the names of these lighthouses that perfectly. So I will do my best, but please forgive me if I don't say them properly. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. Number one, the Pointe Mati Lighthouse. This lighthouse sits along the St. Lawrence River, which has a long history of shipwrecks and treacherous journeys. The original tower here was a shorter square-shaped wooden structure that was first built in 1874. But this one was decommissioned in 1909 when the current tower took its place. In 1918, a separate building was built nearby to house the Foghorn, as the area was riddled with fog much of the time, and this was obviously vital for safety. From 1874 to 1972, there were a total of nine different lighthouse keepers that looked after this station. The tower was then fully automated at this point and no longer required any keepers. The lighthouse was officially decommissioned in 1997 for navigational purposes, but thanks to a great amount of support from the local community who have helped with fundraising and maintenance, the tower is still being well looked after. Number two, Prince Shoal Lighthouse. This unique lighthouse, which is nicknamed the Spinning Top, also calls the St. Lawrence River home. Built in 1964, this one came to be in order to replace the original structure that was first established here in 1902. Its steel and reinforced concrete construction has helped it withstand some very severe storms over the years while protecting its keepers inside. When first lit in 1964, the tower's light was reportedly the strongest in all of North America. This tower is recognized as a federal heritage building and was honored in the way of being a part of a series of Canada Post stamps from 1984 to 85, featuring four towers with strong symbolic value in Canadian history. The tower is still operational today and can be viewed from whale watching tour boats in the area. Number three, La Martre Lighthouse. This bright red wooden lighthouse sits in the Gaspésie region of Quebec and got its name from the nearby Martin River. It began operation in 1906 and was built to replace the original tower nearby that was built in 1876. This new tower stands 63 feet tall and became fully automated in 1972. It's considered to be one of the main highlights of the Gaspé Lighthouse Trail, which is home to about a dozen different lighthouses in the region. Number four, Cap de Rosier Lighthouse. This lighthouse has the honor of being the tallest lighthouse in all of Canada, standing at 112 feet tall. This tower was built in 1858 and sits on the Gulf of the St. Lawrence and Lake Huron. It was classified as a National Historic Site of Canada in 1973 and was designated as a Federal Heritage Building in 1994, making it one of only seven lighthouses in all of Canada to receive this double classification. It had 14 keepers over the years until it became fully automated in 1981. The lighthouse is open to visitors from June to September and guided tours are available. And last but not least, number five is the Point à la Renommée Lighthouse. Situated on the North Gaspé coast, this lighthouse was built in 1906 next to the original tower that dates back to 1880. The original lighthouse and keeper's house from 1880 were both demolished in 1927 and a replica was built in place of it next to the current red lighthouse beside it. Now the red tower was active until 1975 at which time it was dismantled and taken to the old port in Quebec City where it was reassembled and remained a tourist attraction until 1997. It was then transported back to the original location where it stands today. Due to this it's been dubbed as the most well-traveled lighthouse.
So that is just a tiny little sample of some of the beautiful lighthouses in the Quebec area. If you would like to learn about some other lighthouses in that region, I'll put some links in the description below for you to check those out if you're interested, as well as a link to a lighthouse trail map of a whole bunch of lighthouses in the area. So that would be a cool thing to look at as well if you're interested. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Just make sure you hit that bell notification to actually get notified every time I post a new video and check out some of the other videos I have on here. If you love lighthouses, I'm sure there will be some other videos on here that you will enjoy as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.